about you, but I can sense and feel the excitement in the air. After months and months of practice, hard work, fundraisers, it's the 2019 Dragon Boat Regatta and it's taking place right here in Gauteng as well as in Cape Town. Many, many teams have come and you can see the captains are busy lining up now and they will do the registration and then we'll get straight into it with the races. I'm looking forward to a day full of entertainment. Yay! Yay! It's the first time that we have it up here in Johannesburg and for that reason, I didn't tell anybody, but for that reason, a couple of days ago, I thought I need to be here and I want to be here to add to the joy and the excitement of this day. And for the first time that it happens here, it's really such a great success and I don't know, you'll, they'll have to extend this lake next year because it's not going to be big enough. But, yeah, I think everybody that participates, they're already a winner and they've come and I think the most important part is not about winning today. Sure, that's okay, but just being part and participating, that makes everybody a winner. Regardless of the weather, it was action from the word go. This team has been practicing push-ups to ensure upper body strength, which is a prerequisite for a successful paddling team. That looks like a lot of weights to lift. They obviously took the competition seriously. The children are coming and the children are not young people yet, but the children are being exposed to the dragon boat. And as they grow older, they one day when they enter into the ranks of the young people's movement, they would also want to be part of this dragon boat race and they wouldn't want this to die. And you know, the Dragon Boat was initially started to create fellowship among our young people, among the families. With this wonderful fellowship, we want to take the opportunity to also invite many of our young people who are not part of this process to come and join us. Uh, join us in having fun. Join us in preparing ourselves for the return of Jesus Christ. But most importantly, become part of this. This is this is our family. If maybe somewhere something has caused you to, to withdraw, um, Come, come back to us, come back into the fold and be part of the solution. So often we think, but, but things must change. If we want the young people group, the youth group to be what we want it to be, it's up to us. We need to create that environment. So as you can see, the three first teams are lined up and all ready to go. If these athletes are going to paddle as well as they are shouting their war cries, then we are in for some strong competition.
the paddlers look like real professionals and the push-ups in weight training were not in vain. The weather in Gauteng just didn't play along. Mac TV viewers, this is Peter and I'm here at the Dragon Boat Regatta in Johannesburg and as you can see it's storming. Months and months of planning has gone into this but guess what, we've not planned for the rain. The event unfortunately rained out at Florida Lake by 2.30, which meant no winner was declared. It was however an incredible day with a magical team spirit and definitely an event to stay on the young people's calendar. I think it is a day that in many a life would stand out as um, a day in which perhaps you met new friends, a day in which you could confirm your belief that you're not alone, that you're part of this big fellowship. And I think the fact that it falls on the Easter weekend as well um, almost underlines our, our Christian fellowship and, and celebration. And I think, yeah, I think there's a lot of seeds sown for the future of the work, just in terms of motivation, in terms of being inspired by others around you. Some impressive looking trophies there and good motivation to win. Cape Town's young people completed the event. And the third place went to Balvini Barracudas. North Pine Vikings finished in second place and well done to ADK Super Dragons, who were the champions of the day. What exciting and thrilling moments we've experienced here today. I must say the chilly weather has got us, but you can still feel and see the buzz that is in the air at the moment. The teams are already planning their outfits for 2020. From all of us here at Florida Lake and also NAC TV, goodbye. NAC TV, for you and me.